Hi, I'm Kellen Mylad, personal trainer at Orange Shoe Personal Fitness in Whitefish Bay. With me today is Tom Bryce, physical therapist of Athletico Milwaukee on Downer. And we're gonna be going over some natural movement exercises today. Now natural movement patterns are movements that we use on a daily basis. And we're gonna be talking about some exercises to help restore our balance, coordination, posture, and core strength. Uh, Tom's going to be including some modifications that you can do uh, to make sure that, that these movements are safe for you and that you're maintaining good form all the way through. Uh, these movements are gonna help you enjoy all the activities that you love that much more. Here with this exercise, we're gonna demonstrate practical balancing. What we're going to do is have Kellen step onto this uh, balance beam board here. At home you can use a 2x4 if you have a balance beam, the curb outside of your house, or uh, you can even just take some tape and line it up on the carpet of your floor. The main concept with this exercise is to really work on your uh, balance technique, coordination, proprioception, um, all different things that you might have to deal with on a daily basis for something you may be as simple as getting the mail from uh, your mailbox and there's an icy driveway during the winter. So what we're going to have is we're going to have Kellen take steps forward without having to concentrate hard on looking down or he's walking, but keeping his center of gravity balanced above this 2x4 and keeping his core engaged. Then what we're going to do is we're going to practice maybe perhaps picking something up from the ground. What you're going to want to do here is take a squat down while balancing on here to give yourself a challenge of keeping your balance while doing an activity at the same time. Then we can come back up. If a squat is too challenging for you at this time, you can hinge at the hip, making sure that you keep your core engaged, right? But still working on taking yourself out of the easy center of gravity position while still maintaining the balance. Walking backwards will be another challenge for you to keep on coordinating the movement of taking steps backwards and balancing on the beam at the same time. Next, we're going to be going over practical balancing. Uh, we don't often focus on um, balance when it comes to going to the gym to work out, but it is a very important skill that we need to have if you think about the real world application um, and the long winters in Wisconsin. Um, we might have to negotiate an icy driveway. We might have to uh, navigate the stands at a Brewers game, um, or even simply just stepping out of the shower. Balance is a very important important part of our lives. So to train, um, we're going to use simple objects. We can use a curb, um, we can use, right here I've got a two by four, or even taking a, a piece of tape and laying that down on your carpet in your living room um, and practicing balance there. Um, you're still gonna be getting the same benefit um, as long as you've got the, the mindfulness and the intention um, with good technique that we're gonna describe here. We're gonna start I'm gonna align my feet fully on the balance beam and start with tall posture. Keeping the shoulders back, lifting out of the chest, everything is aligned here. And I'm pretty relaxed. I'm not too high off the ground and I'm not really tight and tense right now. Just being able to relax. From there, we're gonna start walking forward, taking steps forward relying more on the feet to feel your way through balancing rather than having to break your posture and look down at the board. We can go forward, backward, and we can also add a squat into the mix. Maintaining tall posture, I'm going to pull myself down to this low position Keep my tall posture and stand. A few squats. Making sure to switch sides. And continue walking forward and walking backward.
You can practice this walking forward and backward and um, incorporating um, 12 repetitions of your squat, 12 repetitions um, on each side of the body. So you can break that up however you want to, three or four squats, continue walking forward, backward, switch sides, another three or four squats until you've co collected 12 repetitions total. Take a short rest after that and try it again for two sets. And in time, your balance, you're gonna notice your balance get a lot stronger and you're going to be moving a lot better.